Today we're going to make wire and bead sculptures. We'll create colorful, freeform sculptures with bendable wire and hand-painted beads. Let's gather our materials. The materials we'll need for our wire and bead sculptures include a wood block, and this is for the base of your sculpture. You can cut a 2x4 piece of wood into smaller pieces with a saw or find a block to provide a sturdy base. You'll need a wooden spool, some flexible wire, 16 gauge wire works well, some unfinished wooden beads, watercolor paint, paint brushes, scissors or wire cutters. Scissors usually work, work fine for cutting through the flexible wire, but wire cutters work well as well. And optional, additional beads such as pony beads or faceted uh, plastic crystal beads or glass beads, anything that will fit on your wire. Let's set up for success. To prepare for the best possible experience with the wire and bead sculptures, there is an adult prep step. And the adult will want to prepare the base of the sculpture by threading one or two 18 inch lengths of wire through the wooden spool, twisting them together to hold them in place, and then hot gluing the spool to the center of the wood block. Let's create. To begin making your wire and bead sculptures, you'll start by painting the unfinished wood beads and the base as well if you like. You'll paint your wooden beads with watercolor paint and you can also paint the base and the wooden spool or you can leave them unpainted. Now thread the beads along the wire in any pattern you like and you can intersperse the wooden beads that you paint yourself with additional beads if you like. Twist the wire ends together to hold the beads on and to create your sculpture. You can arrange the beaded wires as desired to create your own unique freeform sculpture. And if you like, you can even add additional wires and beads to make a more elaborate sculpture. I hope you enjoyed this art activity.